Let's see the review of Palandia OS 2.0 Android 12 on Poco X2. Many Android 12 rooms are facing the dual SIM problem. I am not facing this problem yet in this room. If I face this problem after the video, I will add a pin comment below this video. First of all, as you can see, the UI looks too good. And the Moonlight engine works fine. As you can see the wallpaper and ascent. In this you get the mic access and camera access. So you can block them from here. Then you get the CBC mode and HBM mode. In CBC mode you can turn it to low, medium and high. And you can turn it off. Similarly you can turn HBM mode to off, medium and high. In photos, in backup settings. As you can see, the backup is free and unlimited. Let's check the about phone. In about phone as you can see, the Palandium version is Palandium 2.0. In Android version, as you can see, the version is Android 12. As you can see, in this you get Doctor patch and the kernel is Radcliffe kernel 3.0. Let's check some customizations. So, I network and geo down here. In this you get volt, but as you can see, the volt sign is not showing. In connect devices and preferences, in this you get Bluetooth, CAS, printing. Fire Save Bluetooth, Chromebook, Nearby Share, Driving Mode, and Android Auto. In Display, you get Brightness Level, Auto Brightness, in Lock Screen you get Privacy. Then Down you get Add Text on Screen, Show Wallet, Show Device Controls, Now Playing, In Windows you get All Your Show, Turn Info, Left to Check Phone, and Wake Screen for Notification. Then you get Dark Theme, Font Size, etc. In Screen Timeout, and Down here you get Screen Attention, Down here you get Display Cutout. In this you get device default, corner cutout, double cutout, punch hole cutout, tall cutout, and waterfall cutout. Suppose corner cutout. But when you switch to device default, as you can see it overlaps. In device specific setting, in this you get refresh rate and pill cell notch. In ambient display, when you turn it on, you get wake up gesture, pickup sensor, handle sensor, and pocket sensor. At the last you get theming. In this you get font style. In this you get two options, in the wallpaper and style, in this you get change wallpapers. Then down here you get dark theme, theme icons and upgrade. In battery, you get battery usage. Then down here you get battery saver, in this you get extreme battery saver. In this you get when to use, suppose you choose always use. And turn on the battery saver and turn on all the third party apps get disabled. As you can see, and in this you get essential apps, then down here you get Set a schedule and turn off when charge. At the last, you get battery percentage. In sound, you can choose the media sounds. Then down here, you get DD, live caption, adaptive sound, now playing, media, etc. At the last, you get direct sound answer, and it works fine. In this, you get enable direct. When you enable it, you get headphone type and a preset. And last, you get enable Wi Fi. In notifications, you get app settings, then down here you get history, conversations, bubbles, device and app notification, notification lock screen, etc. Down here you get DND, wireless MSG alerts. In this you get allow alert, extreme alert, severe alert, amber alert, test alert, area update broadcast, MRSR history, alert vibration, and alert reminder. In storage, as you can see, the Android 12 is using 70 GB of storage in security and down here you get screen lock and fingerprint. You don't get option of face unlock as well as app lock. In system, you get gestures. In this you get quickly open the camera. Navigation. In this you get additional navigation, two button and three button, and it works fine. In settings, you get swipe to invoke assistant, left edge and right edge. Then down here you get one hand mode. In this you get swipe down to in this you get pull screen to reach and show notification and last you get one hand more shortcut then down here you get lift to check phone press on the power button clipping a screenshot and prevent ringing at the last you get poco parts in this you get display color calibration in lcd features you get hp mode and cvc mode then down here you get vibration strength and poco sound answer in the recents you get screenshot and select for clear all, you have to call them back. As you can see, let's check the Android score. The score is 3,47,828.
let's check the geek bench score the score is 513 for single core and 154 run for multi core and safety net and run test as you can see it's passed and dr info and down here as you can see l1 works fine in play store and settings at the last in about section as you can see the device is certified let's check the cpu throttling and this the cpu throttling is zero that has no cpu throttling and you can check the graph and maximum charge speed is 3220 mA amperes and this the stock camera is this one the default camera and it works fine as you can see let's check the calls okay or not As you can see calls work fine sometime it lags but overall the runs are smooth thank you so much for watching i'll meet you in the next one